taking the showers out of our local forecast. We should be in the low 90s this afternoon, down in the low 70s tonight, warming to the mid-90s on Saturday. 90 degrees in San Antonio, it's 93 in Austin. I'm Bob Guthrie, WOAI News. Meeting Charles Osgood was really a treat. My talks with him will be very hard to beat. A talented man who knows the score, I asked Charlie how early his feet hit the floor. I get up at four. An early start for this versatile man. His poems rhyme, but not scan. When told this was so, Charlie said, yes, I know. But I always try to get as many syllables into the last line of each one of my limericks as I possibly can. <laughs> I kept calling him Charlie. Uh, He doesn't look like a Charles. I mean, hey, Charlie, that's the name that he's got. For some reason, that name, uh, people kick it around a lot. Charlie, Charles, Osgood, or Roz. He's the best that they've got. And when the man gets to his store... There's a guard, a sleepy guard, you know, standing at the front door. Now, how does he get from his home to his work? Without him, CBS would surely go berserk by chopper, limo, or maybe by sea. What they do is... uh... If I'm not there at a certain time, they they call the house and say, where is he? The powers that be will provide transportation for the folks on TV. Wouldn't want them knocked down or slugged. On the other hand, if you're doing the radio thing, they probably probably would just assume you'd be mugged. Even a man of Charlie's repute has early, humble beginnings and roots. Commercials, even, to augment his pay. I, mean, I did some pretty schlocky commercials back in my day. It's all paid off for this man of wit. He looks pretty good from where we sit, remembering his words of warning. Nothing could be finer than a crisis that is minor in the morning. Charlie Osgood, welcome to the Carl Wigglesworth Show. Everybody wants to get into the act. Everybody wants to get in the act. The gentleman who put that together is here in the studio with me, too. I asked him to come in for a minute. His name is Johnny Marks. You probably don't recall all those things you said because you were visiting us in San Antonio. How many years ago, Johnny, when you picked that up? Carl, I believe that was about six and a half years ago when we were in the old studio downtown. I had had occasion to pick Charlie up at the Menger Hotel and take him over for the broadcast. And we were all so elated to have him in person that I brought a cassette unit into the studio, and we recorded everything we did. So I said, what an opportunity. So I put that uh, together in honor of Mr. Osgood, and I have never washed the car where he sat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm impressed not only with the, uh, with the job you did putting that together, but I'm impressed with your filing system that you still have that. 